Lisa here with ILKB bringing you a 15 minute workout. Today we're going to be doing a full body workout. So you want to make sure that you have something near you that you can do dips on. Make sure it's going to be very supportive. It could be the couch, it could be a table. Just make sure that you guys feel like it can support you. Um, have water with you, anything else you may need. We're going to be blasting through this 15 minutes pretty quick. Everything is going to be quick transitions. So anything you need, grab it now. Uh, so we can move right from the beginning and bust out right to the end. We want to make it explosive, make it non-stop. So we're going to start today with some uh, shadow boxing. We're going to do jab cross. So let's get that started right now. Let's shadow box with that jab cross. Let's warm up the body. And a couple quick reminders here as you do your jabs and cross. You want full extension on those arms. You want to use your hips. You want to rotate on that back foot. Now, keep moving. Uh, as we do these, on uh, the back foot is something you want to focus on when you do only one or two. As we're going fast here, I know it's a little harder to turn your body because of the speed. Make sure those shoulders get involved though. A couple seconds, we're going to go into jumping jacks. Four, three, two, and one. Jumping jacks. Put those arms up over your head. Again, you have full range of motion here. I know I say that all the time as a reminder. Because a lot of times as we're starting our warm-ups, we're not in it yet. We're not feeling warm, so we kind of do one of these. Get that body warmed up by bringing those arms over your head to get those feet out. We got high knees in three, two, and one. The knees up. Make sure you guys are breathing. Make sure you guys have a little lean back. As you guys are doing these high knees, keep watching here. We're going to drop down from mountain climbers in a couple seconds. Hands to the mat, I want you guys to bring those knees in toward your chest. All right, again, you want to prevent the arch here in the back. You just bring in those knees in, keeping your back nice and level. Do four, three, two, and one. Let's get started. Now, you guys are going to feel this in your shoulders to start. As you guys start picking up that pace, you guys are going to start to feel it in your legs. You're going to feel it in your abs. Keep those abs nice and tight. A couple more seconds, we're going to switch to those dips. You're going to grab that furniture or get near it. Let's pull. Three, two, and one. Let's grab that piece of furniture, whatever you got. And let's dip it out right away. You want the palms of your hands on whatever it is that you're using. And drop all the way down and squeeze at the top. All the way down and squeeze. Try and get as low as you can. You're going to explode it up. Keep those triceps nice and tight in the back. We've got five seconds, we're gonna go into no hand push-ups. Four, three, two, and one. Move whatever it is that you're using so you don't uh, hit it as you're doing these. No hand push-ups, you're gonna drop your body down, shoot out, push-ups, push-ups. Now as you guys are doing these, don't snake your body up. The whole idea is to push your body up like it's one hole, like it's one split. Okay, so drop them down again, punch out, and then push up. A couple more seconds here, we're going to bring it up, we're going to go into regular squats. All the way down and all the way up. In four, three, two, and one. Squat it out. A reminder, keep that chest nice and upright. All right, you don't want to hunch your back over, you'll hurt your back, so drop down. Pull your weights in your heels, you should be able to wiggle those toes, and then push up through those heels. A couple seconds, I want you to keep these going. We're going to add front kicks though. So you're going to squat, kick, squat, and kick. Let's get that going. Squat and kick. So you're still doing the same squat, only now you're adding kicks left and right, alternating those legs. Drop down, kick. As you guys are throwing these kicks, remember, you do want to thrust down those kicks forward, just like you would if you were on the back. A couple seconds, we're going to move into alternating lunges. You guys are going to step forward, and we're going to alternate. You guys are using your hands on your hips, you guys can keep the front of your face, just don't keep them up anywhere near your legs. Three, two, and one, so step out. So why would I say something like that? Well, a lot of times I see people come here and they do this. You don't want to do that. Keep your hands off your legs and push up through that heel. A couple seconds, we're going to isolate those abs. We're going to go on to our back for a hollow hold, keeping our feet, head and shoulders up off the ground. And I'll hold and pull. Three, two, and one. I'll hold right here. Head and feet, and shoulders, all up to off the ground. Keep that core tight. And keep it nice and tight as if someone was going to drop something on you, you want it to bounce off. So keep those abs nice and tight. 
couple seconds, we can make our bodies look like an X. I'm going in for those X ups. So three, two, and one. Let's go. Here it goes. Now your body should, be, should look like an X this entire exercise. So you're going to start off in that X position, and then you're going to touch your foot and to your opposite hand here. Okay? You're going to come back to that X up position, and then up on the other side. You don't slowly but surely bring your body to the center, because the whole idea is to look like an X. Couple seconds, we're going into Russian twists. Three, two, and one. Sit it up, Russian twist. Side to side, side to side. Again, you really want to turn. You really want to feel the sides of those abs burning. All right, you want to keep those feet up off the ground. That's the goal here, keep those feet up and be able to turn all the way from side to side. A couple seconds, we're flipping it back over. We're going to hold our plank, palms and toes. In four, three, two, and one, hold that plank, just hold it out. I'm gonna demonstrate what we're doing next. They're called froggies. If you just went, oh, then you know what they are. If not, this is how it goes. You're gonna bring your feet to the outside of those wrists and lift your hands so you're in that squat hold position. Out and in. We're gonna keep going non-stop in four, three, two, and one. So from this direction, I'll get out. Keep it low here, keep it low. You wanna wind up in that low squat position. Try and go as fast as you guys can, but maintain your form. If it's getting sloppy, it doesn't feel right, slow it down. Bring it up for some more shadow boxing in three, two, and one. Here we are again. So, again, reminder, full extension on those arms. When we're going one, two, we can focus a lot and put a lot of power uh, into that cross, so we're gonna turn a lot. As you're doing the jab cross, you still wanna make sure you're turning your body, but obviously because you're moving faster, you're not gonna get as much torque. Here we go. We're going to go into jumping jacks in four, three, two, and one. Jumping jacks. Now your body should be warmed up. We've gone through all the exercises that we're going to do today once. Okay, so now we're going to go through them again and then one more time. Again, we're packing a punch in 15 minutes, so you want to keep it moving. You got high knees in four, three, two, and one. Off to the this side. Get them up, get them up. Use your hands as markers. That's usually a good thing. Your hands are like your goals. So when you set a goal, you want to reach them. Just like anything we do with working out and fitness and anything else that we want to succeed at, goals are important. Use your hands as goals. That's when you know you're meeting them. We've got those mountain climber steps again in four. Three, two, and one. So notice where my body is. Again, my body is not back here, doing them like this and I'm not arched up here like this. I'm here, everything from my shoulder and above is in front of my body. So this is where I want to be. Okay, so pull those knees into your chest nice and fast. We have those dips again in four, three, two, and one. So get to that furniture, whatever you're using to dip it out, get right to it. Again, all the way down, all the way up. Now I try and drop my body as low as I can so my butt almost touches the ground or it just gently like kisses the ground, and then I push up, squeezing with those triceps. I want to make sure that my chest is nice and upright and I'm looking forward, and I'm breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. We got those no hand push-ups again in cool. Three, two, and one. No hand push-ups, drop your body to the ground. Then you're gonna punch out, and then push up. Out, and up. Exhale as you're pushing up. You gotta start these on your knees. Or if you feel like you have to start them on your knees, don't. Try them on your toes. Try and give me one and then drop to your knees. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. We're gonna bring it up for a squat in four. Three, two, and one. So squatting it out again here. All the way down. All the way up. So keep it moving. Try and get that butt as low as you can to the ground. And then push up through those heels. You're gonna feel that in your glute, especially if you're pushing up through your heels. If you're doing it correctly, you're gonna get that glute squeeze, especially at the top. Adding that front kick in four, three, two, and one. So squat and kick, squat and kick. As you do these, I urge you to keep your hands up. Okay, this is good practice for when you get to the bag and you're actually throwing your front kicks on the back. Okay, so we always know that we drop the hand we kick with. Same thing here, keeping that other hand up. Keep it moving. We got alternating lunges in four, three, two, and 
forward, step it forward, step it forward. We're just like our squats, we want to make sure that our body is nice and upright here. Again, keeping our hands off of our legs, pushing up through those heels. Dropping it down for that hollow, hold again in four. Three, two, and one, drop it down. It's our active rest here, we're just catching our breath. All right, but you guys don't feel completely relaxed, and that's because it's an active rest. So although we're not moving, we're still using our muscles, we're still burning a ton of calories. We've got those X-ups again. Three, two, and one. Let's go. So these have a similar idea um, as the Russian twists, where we really want to turn our bodies, work on those obliques. We're going to get to those Russian twists next, but you'll notice the motion is the same as far as how much we want to twist. So here we go, four, three, two, and one of those Russian twists. Side to side, side to side. Again, look forward as you do these. If you're looking your head from side to side, you're gonna get super dizzy. So look forward and make sure your bodies are turning. The only time you wanna look behind you is if you're not sure if you're turning enough, then you can look because it'll help your body get a little bit of an extra reach. We're gonna flank it out again in four. Three, two, and one, flank it out. You want to make sure your shoulders and your wrists are in line. Just like you do with the mountain climber steps. If you notice, this is the first part of your mountain climber step. From here, all you would do is pull your knees in. All right, so you guys will see a lot of um, similarities as we move from exercise to exercise before. Uh, always check them. Make sure that when you're doing your mountain climbers and your planks, your shoulder and your wrists are in line. We're going to those froggies in four, three, two, and one. Here we go, froggy it out. Again, bringing those feet to the outside of those wrists, and then you're just lifting your hands. It's essentially what you're doing. And once you feel comfortable, shh, you want to move a little faster. Again, your weight is going to be in your heels. So as you bring those feet forward, your weight is in your heels. I can still move my toes. I'm going to shadow box it out one more time. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Shadow box. Now here you can go fast, or we can go to that one, two, where you're really focusing on turning that whole body. We're thinking about power. Power is that one-two combo. When we go non-stop, we don't want to think, well, not power. But because we're moving faster, it's going to be non-stop. So we want to make sure that we're turning as much as we can. But obviously, when we do that one-two combo, it's going to be a little different. Jumping jacks in three, two, and one. So here we are, running through these exercises for the last time. Get those arms all the way up. You guys remember, high knees is what's next. So I want you to get those knees nice and high. Four, three, two, and one. Bring those knees up, bring them up, bring them up. Again, if you use your hands as targets, kind of like your goal points, you'll know if you're hitting them. If you're gonna do these, keep your hands in one position. Don't lower them to meet your knees. Keep them up. The idea is to bring your knee up to that hand. Mountain climber steps in four, three, two, and one, let's go about a climber steps. Again, you notice I start in my plank position and then I'm just bringing my knees into my chest. I'm not starting here and then doing this. Keep that back level, that core tight. Full body workout here with those mountain climbers. Dips coming up again in four, three, two, and one. Grab whatever it is, go right into it. Do not wait for me. You guys are all set up. Jump right into those tricep dips. Now this is great because this exercise isolates the triceps. Now if you want your whole arm to look good, you can't just work your bicep, you have to work your triceps. All right, it's one whole unit. So make sure that you're squeezing at the top. Think about those nice arms for the summer. Here's where you're making them happen. Here's where you're sculpting them and shaping them. The more burn, the better you're gonna get results. Keep it moving. We got those no hand push-ups in three, two, and one. So drop it down, push out. And push up. Now here, I want you guys to go for speed. Get in as many as you can. You obviously want to maintain your form, but just get it done. Get as many as you can. It doesn't have to be pretty. I want you to speed it up now. Okay, we're not doing non-stop push-ups. These are no hand push-ups. So you have that little bit of a break in between. We're going to bring it up for regular squats again. In four, three, two, and one. Squat it out. And breathe. You're dropping that body as low as you can and up. Raise your head and up. I like to keep my hands out in front because that helps keep my chest nice and upright. I know I'm kind of balanced here. I know my chest is up. If I don't do that, I have that tendency to lean down and bend that back. 
Add those front kicks now. Alternate each side. Add those front kicks. Get picking that leg up, thrusting forward, drop down. Again, notice how I'm keeping with my left. So I'm dropping my left hand, but I'm keeping my right one up. Again, this is good training for when you're on the bags. So utilize this time. Keep the hand up and drop the one you're kicking with. So you're going into those alternating lunges in four, three, two, and one. Stepping forward. Push up through that heel. Don't try and have one foot in front of the other like you're on the tightrope. You will fall over and you will feel that in your knees. Keep that distance between your feet. Just step it out. So here you go. Here you go. Drop it down that hollow hold in four, three, two. And then drop down that hollow hold on your back. Head, shoulders, feet, all up off the ground. Keep that core tight. You can't think about somebody dropping something on your stomach. You want to make sure that's going to bounce right off. That will not bring down you. X ups in three, two, one. Let's go. X ups again. Body should look like an X the entire time. Don't let your uh, feet ride to the center because that's not an X up. All right. That's a version of, of a V up. Keep those legs out and twist. The further your legs are out, the more you look like an X, the more you're gonna twist. Working those obliques, working those abs. Russian twist. Three, two, and one. Woo! Two more exercises, and we are done. We have made it to the 15 minutes. Maybe even a little longer at that point. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Side to side. I like to have my hands actually hit the ground so that I know I'm making contact and turning. I'm gonna plank it out again in four. Three, two, and one. Plank it out. Just keep the suggest active rest. Even when we're not moving, but we're still utilizing all of our muscles and we're burning calories just being right here in that position. We agree. I'm gonna end with that froggies today. Again, keep it lower. Four, three, two, and one. Frog it out, frog it out. Right to the end. Bring it up. I'm gonna get count you guys down for the last 10 seconds. As I count, I want you to move faster. Start picking it up now. You're gonna go your fastest when I start that 10 second countdown. So move it in, move those feet in, hold it low. 10, nine, now speed it up. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and time. Woo! Nice job, guys. It was not an easy full body workout. I'm sure you guys felt that. So I want you guys to remember something as we're doing these intense workouts, okay? These 15 minutes workouts, they're very, very intense because we're doing short bursts, okay? Now, when you're looking for weight loss, doing short bursts in those 15 minute spurts helps you lose the weight faster. However, you have to combine it with a healthy deli, um, diet rather, deli, look at me. I'm thinking about sandwiches and this and that. Don't do that, that's the opposite. You gotta incorporate a healthy diet. So if you're gonna work out, you know, think about that throughout the day, the hard work you just put in right now. Think about how tired, exhausted, and how sore your muscles feel right now. Remember that if you're gonna reach for something bad because diet and exercise go hand in hand and you're gonna notice the most weight loss between these short burst uh, workouts and the healthy diet. So guys, thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you guys at the next one.